hey guys today we're going to be um reviewing the more you are 2020 i hope you like the new um angle i have a tripod now well i did before but um it broke so inside the box it has which is a very nice box at least i think it comes with oops sorry i almost broke the box it comes with the cube a stand and an accessory box that and this is an accessory box it has why will you okay so it has a pamphlet an extra spring compression device and a screwdriver it also came with an extra um what's it called a spring compression thing to replace it if you lose it and uh yeah so that's interesting i'm gonna put that back in the box and the stand if you wanna put your keys like this or like a change your angle just a bit so the movie you are stand 2020 has oh wait light magnets um way lighter than the moyu i mean way lighter than the moyu dcs fan um that was my previous main and uh it has a very different feel as well i was very shocked when i found out that this is only eight dollars because when i was gonna buy it i wasn't expecting it to actually be this good for only eight dollars so I am I've been very shocked by this. Um let's actually talk about the shades. So this is one of my favorite shades that I have. You know, one of the favorite shades of cubes that I have in my whole collection. It looks very, very nice for comparison. It's a DTS AM shades. I like them better on this one. They they look this nicer. Um, I also like the yellow butter on this cube because on the DTSM, I feel like it looks a bit like more, more like uh, see-through, I don't know. So um, this cube has a very, very nice feeling to it. It's very smooth, you guys can probably hear. So I have lubed actually these both the same way. So the lube doesn't make a difference to the feeling. This one is very, very like, clicky and loud um that's also why i chose this one because it is very it's much quieter than other movie cubes this had a lot of spring noise out of the box but i was able to actually get rid of it just was like bluer like on the springs um with the dts3 i did not so this cube has sorry i keep moving the camera by accident so this cube has very very light magnets oh, very very light magnets um, which isn't a bad thing, especially it's really good for one-handed, so it doesn't stop your turns too early. And you don't have to put as much effort into your turns. This cube is very effortless. It was very fast out of the box, but I was able to change that with its spring compression. Which is another really cool thing about this puzzle. Because usually, only flagship cubes are highly customizable. This one actually has the Moju spring compression um, thing. It comes with a spring compression tool and a stand, which a lot of people don't like for some reason, but th there's the stand. Uh, so I've set the spring compression to five or six, I think you can see in there. And it comes with a spring compression device as well. And uh, so yeah, that's really cool. Let's talk about corner cutting actually. So we can see we'll do 45 degrees. Can do it pretty easily because I have mine pretty loose. I like my cubes pretty loose, and it's still pretty quiet. So more, more. It's still, it can basically corner cut anywhere. Then reverse half, easy. More. This has really good reverse corner cutting as well. So this actually has really, really nice corner cutting. The only downside to the corner cutting is that when you accidentally misalign the layers, like let's say you're turning really fast and you accidentally misalign the layer, it makes a very loud snap. It doesn't matter where you corner cut from, it makes a very loud snap and then that causes me to turn a bit more inaccurately. So for being very fast, I think this cube should have stronger magnets. I know people actually add stronger magnets, but I don't really know how. So I might do that one day, but I, th 
I think light magnets feel really good, but when I'm turning really fast, I can turn pretty inaccurately. But with the matted plastic, I, I don't really like it. Cause it to like slip out of your hands, whereas on the GTS 3M, it has very glossy plastic. So you can see in the reflection. So this one, it's harder for it to slip out of your hands because it has more friction. If you guys want to see a comparison video, I could do that. This is just... So, this one's very smooth and I really enjoy the feeling. One of the main problems I had with the GTS Tram is that I didn't like the feeling too much because it was very, very loud and clicky. Um, so this one's very nice and smooth. So yeah, if you like smooth keys and uh, light magnets, this would be perfect for you. I'm gonna finish off with a couple of saws and I'll do a voiceover saying my final thoughts. So this key was actually my main out of the box for several different reasons. One of the, one of the reasons being is because I love the feeling that it has. It's very, very smooth and it has a light magnet, which I didn't think that I really like because of its fast feeling, but I actually think it's pretty nice for this cube. Sorry, that's hamburger in the background. Um, I think the light magnets actually suit this cube quite well. Maybe like medium magnets would have been a bit better, but I think they're not too bad, especially for one-handed. They suit the cube very well. And I I highly recommend this cube to beginners. It's just incredible and it's not too fast or too slow for the people who are just starting out. So I highly, highly recommend this cube. I started getting around my normal times, if not better, when I first got this cube, which is really interesting because it's actually $20 less than the GTS 3M and I am able to perform about the same or maybe even better, which is just crazy. So yes, I highly recommend this cube. It is amazing, especially if you like light magnets and smooth turning. It actually has a more quiet feel. One of the reasons I switched off my GTS 3M is because it was very, very loud and my mom and my brothers could actually hear this from like downstairs, which is just crazy of how loud the GTS 3M is. And I haven't had that problem on, um, I haven't had that problem on the RS 2020. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend this cube again. And uh, the rest of this video is actually just gonna be my solves. So I hope you guys enjoyed and bye-bye.